What's up, family? We're going to start in one minute, 30 seconds. Yo, what's up, family? What's good? A minute and 31 seconds, family. Yo, what's good, family? How y'all doing? What's good? What's good? What's up? What's up, family? All right, what's up? What's up? What's going on? We're going to start at 30 seconds. What's good, family? How y'all doing? What's good? What's going on? What's up, family? How y'all doing? What's going on? All right, hold on. Okay, okay, five more seconds. Five more seconds, we're going to start. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's get started, right? So, remember I told you guys, I want to say um, almost two weeks ago, I got arrested, right? Um, So, this is how this whole thing worked. So, when I first got arrested, you know we had to go through the police station. I had to go in there. I had to be there under about 10, 12 hours, maybe. Right. So when that when happened, when that happened, um, they took me to the courthouse. So once I came in the courthouse and everything, you know, it was an East Indian guy. He was going around and not trying to be funny or anything like that. You know, um, I respect everybody culture. So he was going around the hallway. Right. And so he was asking people this, like just a series of questions. He like name, last name, occupation and, and that's all he was saying so he was going to everybody and he was asking for the address and everything so he had came to me and said hey uh, what's your name i gave him my name he asked for my address i said um just put texas and he, he put texas down and he said what's your occupation i said i'm self-employed and he was like you got kids wife i'm like yeah and he kept it pushing so so he told us court is not until 1 30. So I'm like, okay, waited till 1 30. We went to, before we got to the courtroom, I haven't talked to the man, not one time after that. We haven't did anything. He ain't talked about my case, my charges or nothing. So we end up going to court. The judge, the prosecutor, uh, read out the charges. You know, he charged with this and that, that, drive without a license. And she was like, okay, driving without a license, petty offenses. So the pistol case, you know, um, we're going to get. So the only thing the guy can say right before I got the bond, he said, Yana, his name is he got a family and he has um, he, he self-employed. I said, what the fuck? I said, really? Now, I was thinking in my man, like, bro, this is your form of representation. If I had to go off of that representation, I would be. Up, right so i'm already knowing how to represent myself so i'm like okay i'm hearing the judge she say he got a fifty thousand dollar d bond right but the only way he can get out if he bond out on house arrest right so i ain't i'm not even tripping so i had read i had uh bonded out then i written up a motion so i written up a motion to the for the motion to dismiss for the lack of persona jurisdiction now this only to get the water wet you get what i'm saying like just to get them though everything maneuvering right so once I went to court, you know, I talked to the judge and he said, hey, where do you live? I don't know. He asked me, he said, hey, are you a citizen? I said, no, I'm not a U.S. citizen. He said, OK, where are you from? I said, I'm from Texas. He said, hmm, you know, um, Texas were his own country, but now it's a part of the United States. And I said, I'm not a part of that United States, not under 28, 28 U.S.C. Uh, 3002 Section 15 a so, you know, he went on and said, OK, since you did the crime in the state of Illinois, um, that give us personum jurisdiction. But he said, what you can do is you could take this motion to the appellate court. So I'm getting in on the judge. I'm really testing his mental. Right. So before that happened, right before all of that happened, when the motion came to the court uh, for the motion to dismiss, I filed the motion myself. I went up to the courthouse. 
I talked to the people who work at the desk, the clerk office, and I properly filed a motion. And when I properly filed a motion, that forces the case to go to the next day. I mean, so not the next day, the day after the next. So everybody was in court. The, the judge was like, well, why are we here today? And they said, I don't know um, who filed a motion. The prosecutor's like, we didn't file a motion. They said, defense. They said, we didn't file a motion. Then the judge like, hey, I don't remember filing a motion. Who filed this motion? I said, me. Mr. Williams, you filed this motion? He said, yes. But isn't the office of public defender, isn't you are his attorney? So the public office of public defense, like, yes, we are his attorney. He said, so to one, I don't get it. He's representing you. And I said, he, and then, you know, I'm quiet for a minute. And he and he told me, he was like, um, so you don't want him to represent you? I said, no, I do not want the office of public defense to represent me. And so, and so when he said that, right, when I, when I told him that, I said, no, I don't want the Office of Public Defense to represent me. He said, so you are pretty much firing your attorney. I said, yes, I'm firing my attorney. And so after I said I was firing my attorney, um, he told the uh, the public defender, said, hey, you can dis discharge yourself from this case. Boom. Got him out the way. My heart was so relieved. I said, thank God. Let's get to work. Let's get to real work. So when me and the judge were talking, about the impersonal jurisdiction. So that's when he went over, are you a citizen and et cetera, right? So I only did that just to let them know who I was. So like I said, a lot of time to fight, you ain't always like, when you come to fight, your goal is not always to win instantly. It's not going to be instant gratification how most people want it to be. But you only doing it as a test. You only doing it as a test. And so while I'm going through that whole thing, I ended up asking the judge, I said, Yana, for the record, do you think it's possible for me to uh, amend some of those conditions that were set forth on a, on a bond? And he said, as far as what? Uh, me being off house arrest. He said, sure, no problem. He said, now, does the state make any objection to him, you know, for, for him being on house arrest? The state said, we make no objection. Okay. And so the judge said, okay, next court date. So next court date is they going to let it off, right? And that's for me representing myself, right? So since I fired them, since I fired the, the public defender's office and I represent myself, now I can go to court strictly through the Zoom call. But I'm filing um, a petition in federal court to get the case outside of the state court and take it to federal. You get what I'm saying? That's if I have to. Nine times out of ten, I might not because I still have a preliminary hearing. So my preliminary hearing, hearing is going to try to find probable cause in the case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the police officer a series of questions to cross-examine the situation. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, we go at them later. But you gotta, you have to set up a Feretta hearing. A Feretta hearing is, is, is a competency hearing. So a lot of times you will see Morris, you will see sovereign citizen go to court and argue with the judge, but they haven't filed a proper notice in court to even represent themselves. They just go into court just filing shit, and they never even talk to the, ask the judge uh, to allow them to show that they have competency and represent themselves. Right now, they're just making a presumption. They thinking you stupid. You get what I'm saying? So you at least got to show the court, okay, I'm competent to represent myself. I can represent myself effectively, and I'm okay with that decision. And so, since you're okay with the decision, the court gonna allow you to represent yourself. You said put the prosecutor as the defendant. Listen, y'all, listen, I understand what y'all been, y'all been watching a lot of YouTube. And honestly, it, it's, it's a million ways to scan a cat. And you can beat them at their own game. But the stuff y'all watch on YouTube is not true. And the reason why I say it's not true is because no one ever done it and got away with it. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's a little bit different than what people think. You got to show the evidence. Hit me up, 224-463-1848. And show me the process that you use and it got dismissed for the for that reason and show the evidence and I'll put you on. I'll put you on live and, and you can demonstrate to the people. Hit me up, King. Root words, hit me up. But for the most part, you do have to file that that motion. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You gotta file that motion to represent yourself. You gotta you gotta file a motion to like to, to represent yourself. And after you file a motion to represent yourself. That's when you can go haywire. That's when you can go ahead and file all of your processes and everything like that. My whole issue was to get off the 
the house arrest thing. Once I got off that, perfect. Now I can go a foul in pellet court. That's when I can do this, do that, do that. But right now I'm just trying to get off that. I don't want to get, I don't want to be on no house arrest while doing all these processes. Like I say, Illinois, I got priors in Illinois and I got a lot of stuff going on in Illinois. So that's the reason why I got to get off this and then I go off and do my next steps. So that step is completed. But now we going to the next step, foul in the pellet court. You get what I'm saying? Or do all of my other processes. But for the most part, you got to file for it for right hearing. If you don't, the court not going to listen to anything you say. You just be a sovereign citizen screaming in court. Say, yeah, your honor, um, I'm operating on the, on behalf of the trust. The thing about it, you haven't even addressed the court that you will be representing yourself. So now they under the presumption that counsel, the counsel is the public defender's office. You get what I'm saying? So in order to eliminate that presumption, you get a Feretta hearing and you're able to represent yourself. And you could you can request for a Feretta hearing. Um, when can you request for, request for one? You can request for a Feretta hearing in between your court dates. So if you had the, the public defender's office may do it for you. But if they don't, you can have your wife or your spouse. If you are in custody, you can have them file for a motion for a Feretta hearing while you're in jail. And you will go to court the next day. But if you're in the world, you can just go to the courthouse and file with the clerk and just say, hey, I would like to file a motion. Motions are free. And they ask you, when would you want to go to court on behalf of this motion? You can say the next day or you can say the next week, whatever. If you say the next day, you can do it like that, too. Yeah, so you do it like that. You get what I'm saying? So once you file that, that's when you go ahead and do the next step. That's when you, okay, that's when you do your magic. Because everybody got their own processes. Everybody do this, do that, do that. They go to court operating and defending their trust. But you want me to tell you something crazy? Nobody ever asked for a Feretta hearing. So they still got the Office of Public, Defend Public, Office of Public Defense still as your attorney. And that's what killed the whole your whole strategy because if they steal all your attorneys, the judge not going to answer any motions unless they sh unless you show competency. So at that hearing, I had a motion hearing, a competency hearing, and an adjustment for house arrest. I had three damn <laughs> motions that I asked the court because the state extended their time as far as court date was supposed to be Monday. Now it's September 6th. September 6th, everything's good. We go ahead and do this preliminary. Then I get off. Once I'm off, I still got to go to Texas, handle my thing out there. And then I'll be doing a Zoom call. Then I'm smacking their ass. Then I'm getting them. The same way it was in Florida, we, we got to go to war. Islam, family. Islam. So we got to go to war. Y'all got to be ready. You get what I'm saying? Because nothing perfect. And like, let me go back to explaining the whole situation. I have contracts in the state of Illinois. And even though I surrendered all of my contracts, those contracts were still used as a presumption of jurisdiction. And, and it's like, dang, how can you fight that? You can fight that many ways, right? Because actually, let me show you. Hold on. On my ticket, it actually says on the Illinois statute, if anyone voluntarily or make a false statement, they can be imprisoned. They can be in prison. And by them showing the false statement, that can be your that can be your reasonable cause right there. Like, like, like reasonable doubt in your case. And you can get it dismissed just strictly off that. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I always tell people you got to analyze a lot of things because a lot of times the, the answer is right in your face. The answer is right in your face. You just can't be scared when it goes down. When you're about to get arrested, you can't be scared. And that's why I told you guys my last video. That's crazy. On the same day I dropped the live and I said sometimes it, something can happen. You can get arrested. Then what? And then what you gonna cry? You gonna say, oh, fighting for freedom ain't never free. I don't know why people think that. And there's no perfect process. And that's what that's the thing about it. It's no perfect process. There's no such thing as a perfect process. You get what I'm saying? So either you're gonna be with it or not. You actually you gotta be with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna handle that. Yep. I'm gonna handle that. That's what I'm saying. You use all that against the police. You, you you use that against them. You use that against them. Even the statement when they put the address. Did I give you this address? And if you say no, so where did you get this address from? 
Is this an ID that I provided you guys? No? Okay, you lied. On this Illinois statute, you lied. That's not my information. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, like I said, y'all, it's time to it's time to go to war. It's time to get this stuff going. It's time to bring our rights back. It's time to, you know, excel. It's time to get it. You can't be scared when stuff happens. You can't be scared when you get in trouble. You can't get scared or if you feel like your rights being violated. <laughs> what type of person I look like screaming on the side of the road? Ah, ah, you request that I requested from the court. The judge did a lot. <sighs> so for me to be screaming and going crazy, and all, just got to know how to battle the right way. And so that's how I represent myself. So this is the second time I've done it, uh, filed for a Feretta hearing. So the first time was in Florida. The Office of Public Defense filed a Feretta hearing for me. Now, my, this myself, this time, I filed a Feretta hearing for myself. But I didn't have to file it like through the papers. You can go to court and just request it. You say you fire in the Office of Public Defense and you wish to represent yourself. And after that, that's when they're just going to ask you like simple information. Like your highest... Um, high school, like diploma, have you, what, what's your highest level of education? Um, what do you do for a living? Um, um, are you married? Um, do you understand the nature and the causes of your actions? Um, and stuff like that, you know, simple stuff. And after that, you represent yourself. Because when I was in court, them people was looking at me like, the lady was so shocked. She was like, hold up. Like, they would have thought I would have been an ignorant slave, like next to a public defender's office. Let him talk. I'm just like, you feel, you get what I'm saying? You don't, you don't think like no slave. You ask questions. Like I'm not scared of the judge or nothing. Like that's that's another thing. It's it's like fear is being brought into a lot of people when they go into court. So that's why the attorneys speak for them, and the, and the attorneys don't speak for them like effectively how they need to. I asked the judge over ten questions. We making sure that. Uh, motions get answered. We making sure requests get fulfilled, everything. So you might deal with a lawyer. He might ask for that motion. He might say, no, don't push it with the judge. We're going to ask him another time. No, no. We're going to ask the judge today. Can we get off house arrest? The judge said yes that same day. We handling all of our requests the same damn day. You get what I'm saying? We doing everything the same day. We asking a million questions and we always being polite. We being respectful and we going to get this thing going. And the judge told me, he said, if you want to file a motion to challenge jurisdiction, you better off filing in the appellate court. Free game right there. You get what I'm saying? So it's just how you it's just how it's, it's just how you handle yourself, really. You ain't gonna never see me as a sovereign citizen in court yelling at the judge, arguing with the judge. No. The judge is fair. He he's very fair. I don't care about being liked or him doing this. I just care about being fair. Just be fair with me and we can get this thing rolling. Yeah, we're going to get all that stuff underway. Y'all ain't got to worry about that. I know something good going to come out of it. I know something good going to come out of it. Because soon, if they lack probable cause, the case over with. Then I'm going to brag. But if they do find probable cause, that's when we go to our next step. You know, that's when we go to the next step. We go right to our next step, family. But yeah, for the most part, that's how you represent yourself. You know, um... If y'all got any questions or concerns, if y'all going through a court case, hit me up. I can do a QA and and I can explain to you my struggles, what I went through, how did I, how did I overcome certain things. Just hit me up at Demona Estates, D-I-M-O-N-A-E-S-T-A-T-E-S at gmail.com. Demona Estates, D-I-M-O-N-A-E-S-T-A-T-E-S at gmail.com. Peace and love to y'all. Thanks, family. Yep. Yeah.